The U.S. Department of Transportation has issued a final rule that requires airlines to provide passengers with automatic cash refunds when owed. The new rule makes it easy for passengers to obtain refunds when airlines cancel or significantly change their flights, delay their checked bags, or fail to provide the extra services they purchased. Under the rule, passengers are entitled to a refund for canceled or significantly changed flights, Passengers will be entitled to a refund if their flight is canceled or significantly changed, and they do not accept alternative transportation or travel credits offered. For the first time, the rule defines significant change. Significantly delayed baggage return. Passengers who file a mishandled baggage report will be entitled to a refund of their checked bag fee if it is not delivered within 12 hours of their domestic flight arriving at the gate, or 15 30 hours of their international flight arriving at the gate, depending on the length of the flight. Extra services not provided. Passengers will be entitled to a refund for the fee they paid for an extra service, such as Wi-Fi, seat selection, or in-flight entertainment, if an airline fails to provide this service. The final rule improves the passenger experience by requiring refunds to be automatic. Airlines must automatically issue refunds without passengers having to explicitly request them or jump through hoops. Prompt. Airlines and ticket agents must issue refunds within seven business days of refunds becoming due for credit card purchases and 20 calendar days for other payment methods. Cash or original form of payment. Airlines and ticket agents must provide refunds in cash or whatever original payment method the individual used to make the purchase, such as credit card or airline miles. Airlines may not substitute vouchers, travel credits, or other forms of compensation unless the passenger affirmatively chooses to accept alternative compensation. Full Amount Airlines and ticket agents must provide full refunds of the ticket purchase price, minus the value of any portion of transportation already used. The refunds must include all government-imposed taxes and fees and airline-imposed fees, regardless of whether the taxes or fees are refundable to airlines. The final rule also requires airlines to provide prompt notifications to consumers affected by a cancelled or significantly changed flight of their right to a refund of the ticket and extra service fees, as well as any related policies. In addition, in instances where consumers are restricted by a government or advised by a medical professional not to travel to, from, or within the United States due to a serious communicable disease, the final rule requires that airlines must provide travel credits or vouchers. Consumers may be required to provide documentary evidence to support their request. Travel vouchers or credits provided by airlines must be transferable and valid for at least five years from the date of issuance. The department received a significant number of complaints against airlines and ticket agents for refusing to provide a refund or for delaying processing of refunds during and after the COVID-19 pandemic. At the height of the pandemic in 2020, refund complaints peaked at 87% of all air travel service complaints received by DOE-T. Refund problems continue to make up a substantial share of the complaints that DOE-T receives. This is Wednesday, April 24, 2024. Stay tuned and follow us on YouTube, TikTok, or Instagram, Silvera World Traveler for more traveling contents, news, and tips. Safe travel, travelers.